Do you break out in a cold sweat at the thought of doing chest workouts for fear that you might lose your boobs and eventually your femininity? I'm Shannon Clark and I'm with LegsBumsAndTums.com. A lot of women that I've worked with have expressed this complaint to me and concern and today I want to take a little bit of time to alleviate those fears and just help put your mind at ease. One thing that I want you to know right off the very start is that doing chest exercises isn't going to be what decreases your breast size. This is what a lot of women think because they look at pictures of bodybuilders or other women who are very much into the fitness scene and they see that they have very little breast tissue. And of course, being that you're working out to improve the way you look and improve your self-confidence, if you start to see decreased breast size, you might not be feeling like you're moving in the direction you want to be. The real reason though that this is happening to those women is not so much because they're doing chest exercises, but actually because they're just getting down to very, very low body fat levels. The breasts are actually pretty much mostly uh, fatty tissues. So as you decrease your, breast, uh, your body fat levels through you know, diet and a regular workout program, eventually you're gonna start seeing the boobs decrease. This is normal and natural just because you're losing body fat from all around the rest of your body. If you get down to very low body fat levels, which is where these bodybuilders are, actually they're often going lower than the essential body fat levels for women, which, you know, that's kind of the area where you need to maintain to uh, keep your reproductive capacity, which again is going to relate to having your breasts in general. You're going to start to see that significant size decreases happening. So for the average woman, say you, who's working out and eating right and you know you want to firm up and get toned, it's not so much going to be a concern of yours. You're not going to be approaching, you know, body fat percentages of seven, eight, nine percent. Some of these competitors are getting that low. But for you who's, you know, sitting at maybe 15 to 20 percent, and that's even very lean for someone who's looking to get fit, it's not going to be an issue for you. So first, I just want you to keep that in mind at all times. It's not the chest exercises that decreases your breast size. It's the low body fat level. As long as you're maintaining healthy body fat levels, you're not going to have to worry about this. What I also want to point out is that chest exercises can actually increase the shape and size of your breast. Now I'm not going to say that working out you can magically, you know, go up three cup sizes. Probably aren't going to work that kind of magic. But they can definitely help firm up the muscles which will help kind of increase the cleavage and just bring everything up a little higher. So that's going to help you look a lot better when you're wearing your strapless dresses or you're wearing, you know, low cut shirts or whatever else you happen to be going out with that shows a little bit of cleavage. So chest exercises can actually be your best friend really when it comes to this issue. Another reason why you make want to make sure you don't neglect your chest exercises is because it's very important that you're creating uh, the right muscle symmetry amongst the body. And if you're doing a lot of back exercises and you're not doing any chest exercises, it's really going to impact the posture that you maintain. And if you know anything about self-confidence, posture is going to be big. You know, if you're sitting and you're all hunched over and you just don't really look that confident, it's not going to be that attractive. But if you sit up straight and you have your shoulders back and you're just very, you know, proud of who you are and how you look, it's going to make you a lot more attractive to other people. And doing chest exercises is going to make maintaining this good posture easier just because the muscle balance is there. The back muscles are pulling the shoulders back and the chest muscles are there to balance it out. So from that point of view, that's another reason why you need to make sure you're doing your chest exercises. Uh, the third reason is injury prevention. Um, a lot of everyday activities you're using your chest muscles for, oh, pushing open doors, you know, pushing anything really in general, that's all chest muscles. So if you're neglecting these muscles, you're not strengthening that area of the body and the chest is a, is a major muscle group. So you want to make sure you're targeting it. So there you have the biggest reasons why you shouldn't neglect your chest exercises. I really can't stress it enough. You aren't going to necessarily lose your boobs just because you're doing a chest workout. If anything, they're going to help you. Just make sure you stay smart with your body fat percentage and it won't ever be a concern of yours. I'm Shannon Clark and I'm with LegsBumsAndTums.com. Make sure you check back regularly for more great information on how you can succeed at your goals.